Today we're talking about flux core dark welding. I've run two example welds to demonstrate a common problem and show you the solution. So if you want your welds to look more like the one on the right than the one on the left, this is the video for you. I'm going to be using a basic big box store inverter that is flux cord only. Watch me run the first weld, the poor example. Now take a look at this better example. Did you pick out the difference? The difference was the travel speed. I was moving way too fast in the poor example, but moving at a better speed in the better example. I've seen so many people do this. When they start out welding, they move way too fast. And maybe this is because there's a fear of burning through the material, but I think it's kind of just a time warp because you're in this gear, it's a different situation, there's a whole lot going on. It's kind of like I've been exercising a lot more lately, and I'll tell you what, 30 seconds in a plank feels longer than a full two hour movie with popcorn. It's kind of like that when you first start welding. So how do you know how fast to move? Let the puddle tell you. With flux cord welding, it's a little harder to see because of the smoke and light, but if you watch behind the welding arc, you should see a puddle form, and that puddle becomes the weld. Moving back to the poor example, it's hard to distinguish a puddle at all, and it certainly isn't bridging both plates. So you need to be able to see the weld puddle to be able to control your weld, it's so important. But what if you just can't see it? Then you would be well served by spending some time running some bead on plate exercises. Just weld on a flat plate over and over again. So while you're running these bead on plate exercises, you can do some things like play with the shade on your welding hood, make sure that it's clean and good condition. You can move your head positioning and where you're looking, that can help quite a bit too. But a lot of it just comes down to seat time and practice. And once you start to see the weld puddle, you can't help but see it. So practice until you're able to see it, it'll be time well spent. Running beads on plate really drills in many aspects of your welding technique. That's why we do so much of it in my online welding courses. If you haven't seen these, it's a new product I built where I walk step by step through the learning process with you to save a ton of time and frustration. So if you're interested in that, after this video, you can head over to the course page and browse through the topics I cover in each of the four courses. Once you're able to see the weld puddle, you can start to tailor the size of your weld by controlling your travel speed. The slower you travel, the larger your weld will be because you're depositing more metal in each location. If you look at this low spot in our better example right here in the middle, the reason this would happen is that I sped up a little bit at that point. So on your next welds, pay attention to your travel speed as you're working your way along. Watch that weld puddle and size your weld by adjusting how fast you travel. So if you are just getting started with flux cord welding, I'll link a full tutorial video that I made a while back down in the description. And I'll also put a link to my online courses if that's something that you might be interested in. And until next time, weld safe and we'll see you then.